Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Who's ready for a fun stamping adventure? Welcome to my craft room. My name is Susan Campfield. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, also known as Sue Stampfield. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I am passionate about uh, making and sending handmade cards, and you guys are the stars at doing that. You can connect with so many people. So thank you, thank you, thank you for making and sending those cards. We're making the world a better place. I just know it. Um, I'm hoping that uh, we'll inspire one another's creativity tonight so we can make and send even more cards. So thanks for hanging out with me. It's been a busy day. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Jennifer Walsh, my moderator, is hanging out in the comments once again tonight, helping us out. She and I were on uh, earlier today for Crafter Noon at 3 p.m. Central Time. If you were there with us, um, you know that I have a few more of those cards that I finished to share with you tonight. Um, if you missed it, no worries. We're going to catch you up. We'll take a quick look at all of the cards uh, for Crafter Noon, and then we're going to make a card together. I'm hoping that my viewers will uh, vote and help me decide on our card and how it's going to come out. So, oh, Jennifer's been organizing her craft room. Um, Jennifer, when you're done, if you want to come on over, because <laughs> no, I would be too embarrassed to like even let you in here because oh my gosh, it's messy. It's messy, friends. So uh, we're going to do some creating tonight. I'm excited. Uh, I, I happened to get a card in the mail today and I thought, oh, well, that's a cute, simple card. Let's do that tonight. So spur of the moment. I'm hoping you'll help me uh, track down what papers and so forth or what patterns of paper we're using and all the good things. So I uh, wanted to quickly remind you, so Crafternoon was this afternoon. There will be a blog post with pretty pictures of all the projects and a link to purchase the tutorial if you want to do so. And um, I also send out free project sheets. So you can, oh wait, that's the wrong one, Susan. There we go. Um, if you go to seastampfield.com, click on um, subscribe, you'll have the option to sign up for my free project sheet emails and also for my blog posts. So as soon as the blog post goes up for this, you'll get an email with a notification that it is ready. So uh, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Anyone is welcome to do that. And let's go ahead and get this party started. Um, Bev says you like simple and mine are elegant. I'm not sure if this will be elegant or not, but it's going to be colorful. I don't know what it's going to be. You guys are going to help me decide. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this party started. I am going to, oh, what's in your cup? I forgot to ask you what's in your cup. I have delicious ice water. Once again, my go-to beverage of choice. So we play a little game here. If you're a first time viewer, um, I lose stuff like all the time because I get crafting, I get crazy. I put things on top of it and I lose it. So when we do that and I find it again, we play a little game and we say found it and we take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what is in your cup tonight. I'm super tired, friends, because I have uh, been working, burning the midnight oil, shall we say, um, getting ready for Crafternoon and getting all these cards designed. Uh, the tutorial is underway. It is almost halfway done, a little bit over halfway done. Uh, no, halfway done. <laughs> So it'll be coming very soon. And if you sign up for that blog post, you'll be notified when it's ready. If you placed a $50 or higher order with me last month um, and you're in the U.S., then you are, uh, well, I can only accept orders from people in the U.S. So I don't know why I'm saying it that way. I'm tired. Did I mention that? If you placed an order last month, you got a packet. Ooh, Marcy's having wine. Mm, that would be dangerous for me tonight because <laughs> I'm already tired. Um you got a packet in the mail to make that Crafternoon card with me. If you place a $50 order in April, you get a packet for May's Crafternoon project and uh, you get a craft along with me. So it's all fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera here. Oh, Jennifer, I am, I'm fritzy tonight. <laughs> Yay. I think hopefully you can see everything and hear everything and then we're all good. So let's Oh, what do I have to show you? Okay, so Crafternoon today, we learned a brand new fun fold that I dreamed up in my head. Um, my son Joe helped me name it and my Stamp Field Stars team gave it their seal of approval. This is the Springboard Fun Fold card. So it opens up like this. It stands for displays, display uh, the front panel 
and the greeting are on springs. So they're bouncy, they're super dimensional. There's movement to them and it's a really fun card. Spring! <laughs> so it's like you're gonna go on a diving board and you're gonna spring off the board right into the water. So we have our spring fold fun fold cards. You can check out that video here on my channel earlier today. And again, the blog post with the tutorial information will be going up very soon. Um, let me show you. Now I made, that was the one card that the people got the packet for made. <clears throat> and then we made a bunch of other, or I made a bunch of others. So let me share those with you really quick. We have this one. Now these are all, the rest of these are all made with product that is coming on May 2nd. This one is made with the uh, Countryside in suite of products which is absolutely gorgeous. That paper is to die for. These nesting dies are super, super fun and awesome. And uh, so that's where this one came from. And let's keep going here. This next one is from the Fresh as a Daisy um, suite of products. This is the, that's the name of this designer paper. And this one opens up like this. And we got a cute little daisy, spring, spring, spring. <laughs> these, these little springs are too fun. As you will see on the video, they like to hop all over the place if you spring them. So it's kind of fun. Um, so we have that one. And then I did another one. This is with the uh, Cheerful Daisies bundle, not the designer paper. And uh, this one is with the new bubble bath uh, ink pad and cardstock. What a fun name. And the center of the flowers is the new lemon lolly. Another super duper fun name. And then, okay, where were we? Hang on. Oh yeah. Okay. We did this. I showed you this one and silly Susan, when I was doing the tutorial, I thought, gosh, this is one of the new in colors called boho blue. There are five new in colors and wouldn't it be fun if I uh, did the same card in all five? Mary has a question about postage. Can you tell me how much postage is for a card for one of these cards, Mary? Um, it depends how many, uh, how much um, bling you put on the front. Uh, my friend Carol works at the post office. She actually made this. Uh, she's on my, in my team. She made this card and tested it out and she said it would go in a standard envelope for regular postage, um, even though it is a little thick and bouncy. Uh, but if you add uh, lumpy embellishments, you're going to need to add some extra postage. Okay. Um, I love lumpy embellishments. These actually are the new in color dots and they're actually very low profile. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see how flat they are? So anyway, I decided it would be fun to make this card in all five colors because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> so this is the boho blue version. Let's see, this next one is called Copper Clay. Beautiful copper color. Um, same, exact same card. I used the uh, hobnail design from the Basics embossing folders, Basics 3D embossing folders. Those are currently uh, not available to order. They'll be back in May. So we're anxiously awaiting their return because they're awesome. Um, so we've got Boho Blue Copper Clay. Who's next? Oh, let's try a little pebbled path. This is pebbled path. I didn't think I would like the flowers in pebbled path, but I actually think it's really beautiful. There's something very elegant about the um, simplicity of that pebbled path with white. Uh, just really, really gorgeous. So that's pebbled path. All right, we got five. I'm running out of room. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Do we have any viewers from Australia on the line? Um, because depending on where you are from, this is pronounced two different things. So this is uh, here in the United States, we would call this Moody Mauve. But I understand in the South Pacific, they call this Moody Mauve. <laughs> so uh, Marsha, you know what? The... Um, the springs collapse down flat because they're just paper. So I think that's what saves it from uh, being extra postage. So, uh, but again, hard lumpy embellishments or like ribbon knots like that can kind of mi mix that up. So, so let's do a little recap. We got one more coming in here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We have uh, boho blue, uh, what would I call it? Copper clay, <laughs> pebbled path. Moody Mauve or Moody Mauve, depending on where you are from. And 
wild wheat is the last color. Now the, these um, in color dots on the wild wheat are a beautiful shiny gold. I know it looks very chartreuse. Is that the color? Chartreuse on the camera. Um, but uh, these are very much of a gold look, maybe because of the shimmer in them. But um, those are the five in color. So these will all be part of the tutorial. And then I have one more, one more. And that was just fun because I couldn't, uh, <laughs> couldn't, uh, um, let's see. I'm not sure if that one is, uh, we might have a troll, uh, Jennifer, if you can check, otherwise I can do it. All right. So we've got one more here. And this one is with the little monkey. So cute, right? With the ferns here, just swinging by to say hi. So I've got him on a little swinging vine. I chose not to cut the vine off because when you stand the card for display, oh, look, we got another monkey inside with, I'm bananas about you with a little banana. This is a new punch bundle called Little Monkey. There's also some adorable stamps in there. And uh, this one stands for display too, of course. So another springboard fun fold. And he's just bouncing and springing all over the place. Uh, my Stamp Field Stars team had, uh, they got a sneak peek at this card on Thursday at our weekly video. And they said, oh, do the monkey, do the monkey. <laughs> so we had to do the monkey, right? Uh, so those are all of the, uh, okay, good. Thanks, Jennifer. Maybe they, they, maybe they went away. <laughs> Okay, very good. Um, all right, so I think we're good. So we talked about the in colors. Oh, so tonight I think we're going to do, I know we're going to do, we're going to use um, this bundle, the daisy bundle. So let me bring that in. And I'll show you the card we're going to make. So this is the Cheerful Daisies Bundle. This will be available on May 2nd when the new catalog goes live. comes with uh, um, the stamps and dies that go together, building these uh, gorgeous flowers. And then there's also a des uh, Fresh as a Daisy Designer Series paper. So today in the mail, I received a card. You know what? I received a card the other day. <gasps> Let's show you that one first. This one is from Jennifer Walsh, our wonderful moderator in the comments. She makes the most beautiful cards. She is very talented. Um, and so she sent me this gorgeous card with the hues of happiness. Now, I hope you had a chance to grab this. The paper has sold out. It was absolutely, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I love your card, Jennifer. It's just perfect. Perfect. And, and look, she's even got Happy mail stickers <laughs> for her envelope. Super cute. And, um, but then today I got this card in the envelope. So I'm taking part in a swap. Demonstrators like to swap cards with one another. Gives us ideas and um, spurs our creativity. And so I received this card from demonstrator Betsy Kreider. She lives in Pennsylvania, Lewistown, Pennsylvania. And it's a fun fold card with uh, um, Fresh as a Daisy designer paper and that Cheerful Daisies bundle. And so it's a simple fun fold card, kind of one of our go-to basic fun folds cards. I don't think it really has a name, um, but it's just a fun fold and it's a great way to use your designer paper uh, without much waste because this is three by four. So um, we're going to uh, uh, do a card like this. We're going to use the same paper, but we're going to use different patterns. So this is also the paper back here. One side of the paper is kind of a solid watercolor wash look. Um, and so this one is all about the uh, moody mauve. And then she paired it with the new bubble bath. That's the cardstock. So really pretty card from Betsy. And we're going to take our little spin on it. So I need your assistance, friends. All right. So I've dipped into my, grab my paper here. I, I dug into my Fresh as a Daisy paper. Oh, I can't talk tonight. Fresh as a Daisy paper. And I found some patterns that I thought could work. So this is option one. <clears throat> we would do this part for the, um, the piece on the front, the, the two, uh, three by four. And this would be that side piece, that two inch piece on the side. So that's one option. So let's call this number one. The second option is the um, pebbled path. 
Um, so th this designer paper has a lot of the in colors in it. So with this one, we would pair, this would be our three by four in the front and pebbled path would be that side strip. So call this number two. So let me know in the comments if you would like us to make our card with choice selection number one or number two. Give me your vote and we will go accordingly. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and I'm gonna grab my cardstock and we're gonna go ahead and get this. Now I already, um, oh, I even scored it already. Well, I guess I can't really show you how to, <laughs> how to cut it, but I can pretend, right? So this is uh, four and a quarter. This is our card base, four and a quarter, and it is uh, seven and three quarters inches long. And I scored it at two and a quarter inches. I'm so tired. I didn't even trust myself to score tonight because you've all seen me accidentally do the cutting blade. It's true. <laughs> so I'm just going to fold on that and that's going to form our card base. Okay. I'm going to quickly scan through our votes here and see if I see a straw, a front runner. <laughs> um, boy, it's pretty tight. I'll see a whole bunch of twos and then I'll see a whole bunch of ones. Um, gosh, it's super close. I am going to go with number two because it looks like that. There's, there, there's a few more of the number two. It's really close. I'll tell you what, after the video, I will make up. Well, why do I do this to myself? Mm, I will make up. <laughs> Yes, I will. I will make up the other one. Okay, it might not go up till Monday, but it will go on my Sue Stampfield Facebook group. If you're a member of the Sue Stampfield Facebook group, or uh, it will also go on my Instagram account. I'll probably put this one up tonight on my Instagram and the other one will go up um, uh, tomorrow on my Instagram. So I will make that other version. So you can find me at Sue Stampfield on Instagram, or you can go to Facebook and search for the Sue Stampfield Facebook group and request to join and I'll pop you in the group. Anyone is welcome to come hang out with us. And we want number two, right? So that's this one. So I'm going to cut this paper at four inches. So this is 12 by 12 paper, designer paper. And this card calls for a three by four piece. So what's nice about that is you can get, uh, because it's 12 by 12, that divides easily uh, with three by four. So you can get the, the most bang for your buck out of your paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this at four inches by three inches. And there I have my little piece. And then I'm going to take this one. Now the back side of this was the other one that was our, our, num our other choice. Um, I don't know, did I mix up which, which numbers were which? <laughs> Janice wants to know about the first cards that I showed. Janice, those are the Crafternoon. You can find that video right here on my channel uh, from this afternoon. Um, it's I think the title right now is Want to Learn Another uh, a Fun Fold, Creative Fun Fold at the April Crafternoon. Soon it will be changed to the spring uh, Springboard card, but I haven't gotten that far yet. And it's got all the dimensions right there. And there will also be written tutorials available very soon. They are in process. All right. So I have this cut at two inches. And I'm going to cut it at four inches long. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Put my trimmer aside for the moment. And we'll set aside our leftover bits. And let's see what we got here. All right, so we have our card base and I'm seeing you. Aloha, Lisa, how are you? All right, so let's go ahead and put these together. So the uh, pebbled path piece, you can see what I mean by water, like a watercolor wash. It looks like it was painted. Um, we're going to go ahead and stick that on the side here. And I'm a little bit nervous because this one has um, ribbon on it that you have to put on before you <laughs> go too far. And I'm afraid I'm going to forget. So let me bring Betsy Kreider's card, cute card up here again. And so she wrapped the ribbon right around the designer series paper and then adhered it to the layer. Um, We're using white base. Why? Because you know what? Susan uses white all the time, right? 
So here's what our card. Oh, I like it. That's so cute. Um, here's what our card looks like so far. And let's grab some of that pebbled path ribbon because, oh, heck yeah, there is matching ribbon there. So that's going to go across the front of our card. Let me just measure this. This ribbon is so... Um, it's so elegant. It's it's uh, textured and it's just absolutely, there's something really opulent about it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, it's woven and it's just uh, quite lovely. All right, so I'm gonna grab my scissors here, my ribbon scissors that nobody is allowed to touch or use with paper because, oh my gosh, that would be bad, right? That would be so bad. All right, I'm going to wrap it maybe right here. I hate to cover up a daisy, even though I'm going to be putting a, probably put a greeting over that, but I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. And well, this side's pretty too. So you, um, you can, the blues are really pretty. This would also be pretty with the, the blues. So I'm just putting down some seal adhesive there, and I'm just going to literally wrap that ribbon around. I got to flip it around though, because I, I'm being picky where I put it. <laughs> I don't want to cover up any cute daisies. All right. Sticking to me. Okay. That's the point, Susan. It's supposed to be sticky. Oh, that's totally crooked. All right. Hang on. Hang on. We can fix it. That's easy to do. So it is yummy ribbon. I agree with you. <sighs> All right. Hey, Marsha. Yeah. Catch the replay later. This is going to be a quickie. All right. Okay. Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Got that stuck down. Now we're going to put it on our layered piece. So the layered piece that we are sticking this to, I was just super nervous. I was going to forget to do the ribbon because I've done it before. Mm, have you ever done that where you like totally forget to add the ribbon and you needed to before you stuck it on? Yeah. Um, so this uh, paper I'm sticking it on is a piece of basic white that is four and a quarter by three and a quarter because our designer paper is oh, it's still a little bit crooked. My ribbon is a little bit at a slant. Maybe I'm a little bit at a slant tonight. My goodness. As I mentioned, I am a little tired. All right. I'm also a little picky. <clears throat> it's true. It's true. All right, there we've got the ribbon on there. Okay, now I'm happy. <laughs> and then this panel is going to go on here. Um, now, Betsy, it looks like she adhered it flat. You also could pop it up on dimensionals. Let me know in the comments if you think we should do it flat or with dimensionals. And while you're voting, I'm going to grab a scrap paper here. Actually, I might do a little bit bigger one. And we'll do some stamping and die cutting. Mm, will this fit on my... I'm using the mini because I didn't bring the big machine over. So I wanted to make sure it was going to fit. All right. Does anybody see what I did with the stamp set? Where are the, oh, hmm, found it. All right. Take a sip, everyone. It was hiding under the die set. I should have been able to figure that one out. Hmm. Okay. The majority would like this to be flat instead of dimensional. So you got it. So we're just going to put some adhesive here. And here, I don't want to glue the whole thing or I'll glue my card shut. And that would be a bummer. So I'm just going to center this so I have about the same amount of space, top, bottom, and sides there, and stick that on. And now we're going to do a little stamping here. So in the Cheerful Daisy stamp set, you've got You Made My Day, Oops a Daisy, So Sorry, Wishing You the Brightest of you the brightest wishing you the brightest oh i can't talk you guys and your friendship means everything the birthday one all right so i want to use the birthday one which could be a problem because it's probably not in there is it on my desk all right hang on i've been craft maybe i put it away miracles happen it's possible <gasps> i did put it away oh my gosh who even we found it take a sip everybody <laughs> Who even am I to put things back in the right place? It's awesome. What is the measurement of the designer series paper on the base over here? This one's two by four. This one's three by four. Good question. All right. So let's grab a block. Oh, we'll just use a good old block. Good old block D. Oh my gosh, that one's not very good. 
I think this is the one I had it on before because it's got like the same shape. Hang on, let me just do a little, a little wash up here. We've got my Stampin' Mist. Got one of those. Uh, this is actually, I think, an old Stampin' Up cloth, but your your um, glasses clo cleaning cloth for cleaning eyeglasses works work well for the blocks. You don't want to scratch them is the thing. They work well as well. That didn't make any sense, so I just stopped saying it. All right, I'm going to grab a cushion here. This is a photopolymer stamp, so they do tend to stamp better if you have the cushion behind. And we're going to use our Pebbled Path ink pad. <gasps> Where is it? Um, okay, so... <laughs> True confession time. Um, I I opened it up and I've been using it, but I haven't put the label on it yet. So it's making it really hard to find. So when you get ink pads and they're new, um, I'm going to chat about that real quick because I had a couple of inquiries about this. So um, on the back are the labels. And so there's, there's two in English. Um, I usually put one right here. And there's a blank one that doesn't have any, it's just the color. I usually put that on the inside. Um, and then you can put the other one wherever you wish. Um, if you want on the other end, you know, it doesn't matter. You can, or you can put it with the name on the inside. Totally your choice. The other question I had is somebody asked this afternoon um, how I get my pads to slide easily because she's having trouble with hers. Now this one is brand new and it is a little stiff. Do you see that? So what, here's what I do. I take a chapstick, this one's Burt's Bees. Um, I take a chapstick and I just rub it along that plastic track and just to lubricate it a little bit. I don't mush on a whole bunch, it's just a little bit. Um, you might wanna have a special one that you use just for this and not on your lips too. <laughs> and then just slide it a few times and, oh, Okay, I got totally covered in ink. Yeah, saw that coming. Um, and that will loosen it up a lot. It just kind of lubricates it and gets it um, sliding. When they're brand new, they can be a little stiff sometimes. And so that will help. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, bear with me one moment. I need to get this ink off of me before I get it on something important like our card. All right. Happen to have a paper towel handy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Now this is very juicy because it is brand new. And I'm going to stamp that near the bottom of my paper here. Um, and I'm going to be cutting that out with the die with the label that comes right in the daisy dies. Okay. And then I think we're going to want a few daisies as well. So I'm going to actually just close this up and put that away. And uh, what do I want for daisies? Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just die cut this one right here. It's kind of a little, little daisy. And I'm going to do the solid piece and then also the detailed piece. All of these daisies also fit on this big one. The solid ones go behind. And this is like, so it's like, can be a three step or it can be a two-step, which is what I'm going to do right here. And I'm not sure if I want this one or not, but I'm going to grab it in case I do. We'll just die cut it. And if I don't use it for this project, I can use it for something else. All right, so I've got those already. I need something to die cut them with. So I'm going to slide that over. When you stamp, you always get ink on your fingertips. What are you doing wrong? Hmm. That's a really good question. I don't know. Let's ask our viewers if anyone has an idea. Has anyone else had that problem where every time you stamp, you get ink on your fingers? The only thing I can think of offhand is if you do a lot of background stamps and stuff, um, your uh, ink pad can get ink on the edges. And so if you want to wipe that when you're done stamping, it might save your fingers the next time you go to stamp. Um, that's the only thing I can really think of, though. Okay, so I'm going to use my mini machine. I'm going to take my scarred up plate number two. This one is getting pretty beat up. At some point, I'll need to uh, replace it. I pull it back. It's the middle one. And then I put my pieces on that. And don't worry, I will have to fix these guys because everybody slid when I moved it, of course. So I'm going to use, oh, am I? I'm going to use a post-it note to stick this down so it doesn't move on me. 
All right, bear with me. Hang on. I had them earlier today, but I don't know what I did with them. But here's some boring yellow ones. Let's use those. The Sue Stampin' ones are so much cuter, though, aren't they? All right, let's go ahead and straighten this up. And that is the one I'm, that's the only one I really worried about because um, it's, if it shifts, then my words are crooked. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and send this through. You're wait, you ordered the Daisy Suite and you're just waiting for your order to arrive. It's such a happy set, isn't it? Cheerful is a really good word for it. All right. So I'm just going to crank that through. Oh, gosh, I hope that label didn't move. We'll find out. Oh, looks good. Yay, post-it note for the win. Okay. Set our little mini machine away. Get it out of our room. Sorry, that was so loud. And we're going to just shake off our little bits and pieces here. And I want to save the inside of that flower. All right, so here we have our greeting and that's going to go right on the front of our card. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so let's put that over here. And I'm not sure what we're doing with the daisies. The daisies might just go, uh oh, did I forget? Oh no, it's stuck inside. I was like, did I forget the detail part for this one? No, I didn't. It's right here. It's just stuck inside the die. So that's where my take your pick tool with the die brush attachment comes in, or I can just use the pokey end of the take your pick tool and out it comes. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and put this back on. Uh, Judy keeps baby wipes handy. Uh, your pads might just be very juicy. Oh, you guys are, see, I knew if I asked the experts here, you guys would have an answer for her. All right, can you push that up? And pop that on and we're going to go right here. Okay. So there we go. Got those put away. Uh oh, <laughs> things are trying to run away, trying to get lost on me. All right. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with the daisies yet, but we're going to build them. We might put them on the inside. I really like the front. It's adorable. Just like this. Cards don't have to be super complicated, right? Sometimes we overcomplicate. Oh, look, there I found my post-it notes. They were hiding behind the dimensionals. Found it. Don't need them now, but I did find them. <laughs> I think that's worth taking a sip. All right, I'm getting thirsty. Mm. Oh, good, Suzanne. I'm so glad you're finding this inspiring. Like I said, I I find cards very inspiring. Like getting this one in the card in the mail from Betsy really inspired me. Um, so this goes right on there, just like oh, Susan, that is not in the middle. Well, you know what? If I if I do put a daisy on, I may not want it in the middle. Okay, I'm just gonna lightly set it on there because I change my mind sometimes. It's true. All right, so I'm gonna go here. And I'm going to put these together. Now I want, I want a little middle and I, I want a, um, a yellow center to my daisies because that's what's on my card here. And so we're going to color that with the Stampin' Blends. So let me know in the comments which ones we should use. Here's our choices in the yellow family. We have uh, Lemon Lolly, which is the new one or we have Daffodil Delight. So let me know if you want Lemon or Daffodil in the comments. And while you're voting on that, I'm going to go ahead and apply some multi-purpose liquid glue to the detailed part of these dies because I'm going to stick them on the solid parts. So I'm going to grab my multi-purpose liquid glue and looking at the votes, Lemon Lolly is just fun to say, right? <laughs> Daffodil, lemon, 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 daffodil. Boy, it's evenly split right now. Oh, I think lemon lolly's coming out for the win because it's new maybe, huh? All right, we'll go with some lemon lolly. All right, I am just dotting on some multi-purpose liquid glue. A dot is a lot. A lake is a mistake. A thin line is just fine. If I get too much, I just take the tip of the applicator 
without squeezing and kind of um, move it around the excess blobs so that it doesn't squirt out when I stick it on. Now I am not going to stick these on yet because we're going to color our middle first. Now there is a die and there's also a stamp that we could stamp this middle or we could die cut this middle. We have many choices. We're going to color it with blends. If you're not a colorer, you have other options is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I need, uh, when you use your blends, it's a good idea to put a scrap paper down because they will bleed through your paper. If, if you're doing it right, they should come right through. So I'm going to grab a scrap paper here. Oops. And I put it right in the glue. Oh my goodness. All right. Not too bad, but now I'm sticky. All right. You guys need to just do, 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 do. <laughs> slide on over okay this one I need all right what did we vote on it was lemon lolly was the winner that's right okay lemon lolly so I've got my little itty bitty middle for this flower and I've got my now we could do it two different ways right we could actually put the the yellow here or we could do it on the middle that cut out of this piece I'm going to do it on the middle because it'll be raised up a little bit it doesn't really matter I don't think um all right, so I'm going to go with the dark. Well, actually, I'll start with the light and then I'll maybe do a little bit of the dark. This is a very light color, so I don't even know if there'll be a whole lot of differential. But if I look at my flowers, it's actually got a dark and a light. We almost could use both the lemon lolly and the daffodil um, if we wanted to do like what is in the paper where one side is kind of dark and one side is lighter. And let's just color this middle. This is kind of more like a reminds me of like a cone flower type of look. All right, so I got that. So that was the light lemon lolly. Now I'm going to go in with the darker lemon lolly and add a little shading. It's they're very close, but you can see if I zoom up, can you see it's a little bit darker on the side? And then like this one, I have a pretty, pretty pronounced line. So you can go back in with the light one and kind of blend that out. Or again, we could use the, um, the daffodil and make it even um, bolder. If we wanted a, a bigger contrast, let's try that just for, just for fun. Let's take the dark daffodil. <gasps> I might wreck it, you guys. Let's take the dark daffodil and add some contrast here and make it come to life a little bit right by adding that contrast and now i have a bit of a line so i'm going to go back to that light lemon lolly and just kind of blend out that line right there all right so there we've got our middles see how that just added a little something 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 there um, and now i can go ahead and stick this bit on I hope I went down far enough with my lemon. I think it's okay either way. So this is just going to give our flower dimension. You see how the petals kind of pop up like that? And I could have brought that middle down a little bit. Um, I think it's fine where it is, but you, that, you know, that would have been an option. And then I'm going to take this detail piece. And this is a little bit of a puzzle. I love puzzles just about to start another one here at our family tonight so you just want to match it up oops i'm off camera there we go am i on now hopefully just match it up and then we're going to put our uh, middle of our our flower um in the middle <laughs> right so i'm just going to put a little dot of multi-purpose liquid glue you can also do a glue dot folded in half um, for that if you prefer and this is another little puzzle piece. So you just match up. There's a big notch at the top. You just match it right up and pop it in there in the center of the flower. All right. So we've got a couple of daisies there. Let's go back to our card and figure out what we're doing with our daisies. So we've got wishing you the happiest birthday. And then on the inside of our card, we could put our daisies. 
Mm, it's making me want to do some green. So we could add them on the inside like that. Sorry, I'm off camera. There we go. We could add them on the inside of the card. You can add a greeting there too. We could also add uh, one or both on the outside. Let's see what that would look like. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Could do one right here on the front, a bigger daisy. And do it up at the top. <gasps> I'm just playing now. And then we could put this one on the inside next to our greeting. Oh, we need an inside greeting. Mm. All right, hang on. Hang on. We've got stamps for that. I think the one I have on a block over here is the May the Years Ahead Be Filled with Lasting Joy. Just kind of a fun birthday sentiment. So let's do that one. And we're going to stamp that inside in Pebbled Path, which still does not have a label on it. Susan, need to do that. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this right here, and let's grab a cushion. Oh, hey, Suzanne, were you going to do this fold? All right, so we're going to do this one right here. May the years ahead be filled with lasting joy. And then I'm thinking we're going to put a little... Oh, add some more DSP inside. Oh, that's a fun idea. I like that. All right, let's uh, let's look at that. Hang on a sec. Let's grab our designer series paper. We could put a little bit on the inside over here, kind of out of view. That would be fun. I'm going to cut off a little piece. You know what? I am zoomed up so close. So sorry about that, everyone. All right. I don't need this ink pad before anymore, and I'm really worried I'm going to put something important in it. So let's put that away before I have a disaster. And let's finish up our card. I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. And I'm just going to cut up. Oh, gosh. Um, I'll just cut a little, let's see, let's see what three fourths inches would look like. That would get me some daisies and some greenery. Let's go with that. So just a little three fourths piece. That was a really great idea. Whoever said that, um, we're going to go ahead and pop this on the inside right along here, just for a little happy something on the inside of the card. And we're going to add a daisy too, because we can. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to get a little adhesive on there, and we'll just stick that on the inside. Those of you that have designer paper in your drawers and not getting used, I would encourage you to get it out and put it to work for you. A little goes a long way. So I'm just trying to decide who's going on the front and who's going on the inside. All right, let me know if you, we think we should do what should, number one or number two on the outside of the card. Here's what number one looks like. And here's number two. And we'll, of course, we'll put that up in a dimensional. And I'm not totally sure where it's going to go yet. But number one, number two, let me know in the comments. I'm going to move these out of the way. So we can clear the deck a little bit here. Uh, it doesn't want to go away. <laughs> Where are my lemon lollies? All right, so what do we got here? One and... Yep, looks like one is going on the front and two is going inside. All right. So we'll put a dimensional on the back of this. And we'll pop it on here. Just have to, this is the hard part. I got to decide where it's going. So here's what it would look like over here. That's kind of cute. Got peel and stick. <laughs> here's what it would look like over here. Also kind of cute. And if we put it right down in the corner, yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. We're going to just have it kind of, it, it just stands out a little bit better with this background, I think. I don't know. It 
it would look good anywhere, right? It would look good anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna stick this in, but I wanna make sure it's not gonna show from the outside. So that looks good right there. Just put a little adhesive on it, or you could use um, a glue dot if you prefer. Let me just make sure. Oh yeah, perfect. And there we've got our little daisy on the inside. It's subtle, uh, but when you tilt it, you guys probably can't see it very well, but here it, you can see it, uh, it really stands out. You also could put it over here um, on the side if you wanted a little more contrast. Um, you could have it, that paper be behind it or even like up here where there's no daisies. Um, you could do something like that. I'm gonna actually just put it right over here. And who knows, maybe I'll add a green leaf. There is a leaf in the set that has a matching die. So there we have our card. Of course, if you are a uh, ad bling kind of person, um, there are the uh, fabulous, what are they called? In color dots. And you could add some of the pebbled path uh, dots here. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, what, um, Betsy did is she put them in uh, this put the little bling in the center of the flowers. So there is our card for tonight. Let's take a quick look at that. And ooh, did I do? Yes, I did. All right, I'm gonna just pop up the dimensions for this card so that you can take a screenshot and you can go uh, make this card. Now, if you don't have this designer paper yet because you're not a demonstrator, only demonstrators can purchase this right now. Um, you can use what you have. Let me go over here. Um, if you uh, want to get a, some of the new products early and you're thinking about giving a, being a demonstrator a try to get that rock and discount, um, you can really maximize your value right now by getting the starter kit for 90, uh, $99, you get $125 in product and you can select some of the new products like this Daisy Sweet. So there is our card for this evening. I'll hold still. I'm supposed to hold still so you can take a screenshot and sometimes I forget. So, so, so fun. All right. I'm going to just take this down. Will the new circle sayings be stamped fit on the two inch round punch or must use the new two and three eighths in circle punch? That is such a good question. Um, let me go back here and here. Let's, uh, uh, gosh, could we measure that? I think the, it depends, um, and that's not a very good answer, but I no longer have the two inch circle punch. So I think the, um, the curvature of the flowers is made to go with that circumference. Does that make sense? So some of the images would probably be fine. Like um, maybe the celebrate, let me see what, what the width is on that. Uh, the celebrate is, ooh, it's, mm, boy, that would probably get shaved off a little bit. It is a little bit bigger than two. Um, this image looks like it's exactly two. So some of them uh, might work. You probably would want the two and three eighths uh, just to have that layering capability. Um, oh, you know what? I do have the two inch punch. What am I saying? Yeah, I, I can tell you that I know the celebrate does not fit on the two inch because I did try that. So here's the two inch. And let's just do a little template. Ooh, I'm wasting a lot of paper here. That's okay. All right, so that's the two inch. This will tell us what will fit in here. So they're shrunk down on the front, so it looks like it fits. But the ones on the inside are the real deal. And you can see it's, it, it's too tight. That one will shave off. Um, this one would totally fit. The like sea, um, sun and sea. Uh, the cupcake would absolutely fit. Um, this is what I meant by the circle. It's meant for the circumference of the bigger circle. So it doesn't quite match the arc. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, same with the flowers. Um, it just would be a little off. Okay. So some would, some wouldn't. <laughs> Good question though. All right, I'm gonna go back to the comments here and see if I missed anything else. I'm gonna flip this around. Quick reminder um, to uh, um, our fun cards, our fun fold cards. So the Craftoon card for the Sue Stampfield Craftoon card for April is the Springboard uh, fun fold cards. 
there's a whole pile of them. And if you want to be notified when that uh, tutorial and blog post is up, you're going to want to subscribe to my blog, which is, hang on, here's another one. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> which is right here. Uh, and you can uh, subscribe to the blog. You can also subscribe to my free project sheets. So let me flip the camera here and go back to comments. And you are welcome, Maureen. Let's see. It's a really good question because I was trying the same thing because I love to layer. So I had the two and three eighths and the two and I wanted to layer them. So it's good to know which, uh, what was what. So thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. So fun to craft with you. As always, I'll be back on Tuesday evening at 730 Central Time and look forward to crafting with you again. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.